Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all of you for this Jirika program. We are from the University of Malaysia Police. We present to you our project which is a smart working stick for elderly people. First of all, let me introduce my researchers team that cooperated to finish this project. So, the first person is Dr. Anas bin Abdul Rahman. The second person is Dr. Nur Adna bin Dinordin. The third person is Muhammad Firdos bin Azman. The fourth person is Duratul Aisha binti Muhammad Azhar. The fifth person is Muhammad Shaku bin Muhammad Sabri. And the last person is me, Roshada Binti Ahmad Fari. Part 1 Overview First, what is meant with a smart working stick? A smart working stick is an aid tool or a device that can improve accessibility and mobility linked with the IR 4.0 and Sustainable Development Goal to solve muscle weakness and loss of body balance problems. Second, who are the main target user for the smart working stick? So, the main target user of the smart working stick are the elderly people. So, who is elderly people? Conventionally, Elderly people has been defined as a chronological age of 65 years old or older. Next, how the smart working stick operate or working? First, support the user weight while sitting, standing up, and walking. Second, monitor and track user movement. Third, trigger an alarm if an emergency happens. Second part is problem statement. In this section, I only highlight the main problem that often happen to the elderly people. There are a few biggest problems or issues that usually happen to elderly people. First, difficult to work and move. Second, difficult to stand up and stand down from seat. Third, senile and easy to lose direction. Fourth, Difficult to ask for help when falling. Hello everyone. I will explain about the survey analysis part. For this survey has been conducted with 100 respondents from the working can user and the relative of the user. Problem faces by user. For the survey analysis, majority of the respondents just strongly agrees on the problems. There are not a lot of facilities for senior citizens in their place by 32.67% and the second the users have to hold on to something when working without the working cane by 37.62%. And next, majority of the respondent chose agrees on the problems. The user have to sit after working for a while by 44.55%. Their leg feels weak when working by 39.6%. And lastly, the user wobbled while working by 38.61%. The solution provided including the safety and practicality element to be implemented into our project and prototype. For the possible solution provided, most of the respondents agree with all the solutions provided and the highest percentage which is the working cane has a stable element under the cane by 68.32% followed with the second ranking with 54.46% which is the working cane has location tracker which is GPS global position, positioning system to track their location. Next is methodology. 
In methodology, we have eight steps before we are able to produce the prototype. First step, we define the project. We identify the problem and do some comparison between the exist product in the market as our benchmarking. After that, we get some information regarding our project by doing some survey and distribute questionnaire to get some feedback about our project. Not just that, we also refer some article and journal to get more knowledge about our working stake. Next, in concept generation, we get some feedback from the survey and questionnaire we brainstorming the idea the key performance targets and about special features that we can include in our project then we come up with the idea which is smart working stick for elderly people next we evaluate the concept by deciding the design based on the selection criteria that we have for the design we come up with four designs and choose best of the best which is in accordance with the wishes of the user the relationship between the defined and evaluation concept is conceptual design. After that, we have arranged the physical element that required to build our smart working stick for elderly people. In configuration design, we select the best material and modeling for the product in order to fulfill the user's requirement. Embodied by design is this relationship between product architecture and configuration design. For the sketching and drawing, we use CAD software such as SOLIDWORK and CATIA. As for mechanical design, we use ANSYS for analyzing strength, toughness, temperature distribution, and other attributes. Lastly, in details, we in detail designs we produce the prototype and tested it. We also made some improvement and further exploration to produce best product for elderly people. For the next slide is selected design concept. This is our smart working stick for elderly people. The features include an our product a massage plate that can support maximum weight until 226 kg, the rubber hurricanes that works as anti-slip and to increase the friction when user using it, T-bar handle which the design is comfortable and easy to grip, and our product also include with knee bar that can help elderly people whenever they want to get up or sit down without need some other support. The knee bar also can be foldable to save more space. For elderly light, it can be adjustable for high beam and low beam. For the master lock, the user can adjust the height of the smart walking stick at 5 adjustable height. In the circuitry box, there is a storage for place of the circuit that controls the system of the smart working stick. Next is the USB charging port. The USB charging port is the place where the power bank is located. The user can recharge the battery when, the, when at the lower power. Last but not least, our smart working stick also included with three leg bases to support the user when walking and sitting. Next, key stop system. This is physical decomposition of smart working stick for elderly people. From this physical decomposition, there are four main sub systems that we define our smart working stick system, which are power supply, Arduino or microcontroller, electronic, and substructure. First, from power supply subsystem, there are feature capability and universal series bus USB connection. From this project, we use power bank as the chargeable battery to supply power into smart working state system. Then USB is provided to carry power as well as a signal to recharge the battery. Next. For Arduino or microcontroller subsystem, consists a scalarimeter sensor and global positioning system GPS module. A scalarimeter sensor is a type of low power radio wave technology sensor used for user detection when falling and to monitor the movement of the user. Then, GPS is used for tracking the user location. For electronic subsystem, there are LED light and alarm. The LED light can be adjusted 
and it can help users work in dark areas, especially at night or early morning. Why? In alarm system, we use a GE buzzer. This alarm work by emitting sound wave at a frequency too high for human to hear, which is 18 decibel. Lastly, substructure subsystem. This subsystem consists of SIG and NIBA. The master SIG plate is designed to provide extra control to the user and prevent user from sleeping when sitting. Why? The foam NIBA design has an artistic feature that provides balance while users stand and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, I will continue with analysis of prototype. We choose a software analysis workbench as our engineering simulation of prototype. Analysis workbench platform can integrate data across engineering simulation to create more accurate model and more efficiently. Okay, next, analysis workbench can determine the effect of load on physical structures and their component. Okay, why we choose analysis workbench? Because okay, first easily to manage data across all NCS product. Okay, second, integrate multiple analysis within a single interface. Third, save time with automated data transfer. And lastly, create higher fidelity model. In this project, okay, structure analysis is performed into three different of component, which is first, handle, second, seat, and the third is body part. Okay. As a result, uh, this analysis is performed to test out the total deformation and elastic strain of the components. Okay, next we continue with the analysis of body part. Okay, first of all, we input geometry from the Katia and we select uh, aluminum alloy as our material. Then we mesh for the whole body part and we insert uh, fit support and force at the body part. Okay, fit support we apply at the bottom of body part. Okay, force number one, we apply about 1471 Newton, uh, which is 150 kilogram at the root of body part. Okay, force Number two, we apply at the upper of uh, body part, which is 196 Newton. And we assume at this part about 20 kg of force. Okay, the third force, uh, we apply at the left of rest, which is 196 Newton. And we also assume at the left and right uh, is 20 kg of force. And the force number four, uh, at the left of rest, which is 196 Newton. And to solve the result, uh, we insert the total deformation and equivalent elastic strain. Okay, the total deformation, uh, we have maximum and minimum, which is zero minimum for minimum. And we have 0 0.0011718 uh, for maximum. In result for equivalent elastic strain, we have 1.0737 times with 10 to the power of negative 9 for minimum and maximum we have 0 0.0014035 for the maximum of total of equivalent elastic strain. Okay, we can see the simulation. Okay, I set to the two second. Okay, for the total deformation, we can see okay, the graph uh, which is 0 to 1.1718 times 10 to the power negative 3. Okay, the 9, then equivalent of elastic strain, we can see the simulation. Okay, we have okay, that's all for the body part. I will continue with the second part of analysis, which is C. Okay, first of all, same with the body part, we input geometry from the cutter pie and we select the material. Okay, then we mesh for the whole body of C. Okay, uh, for the C, we have compared the element side for matching, which is firstly we set as default, and second we set as 8 meter from the actual size of offset okay, then we insert the uh, support and force for the static structure if it's support we apply at the hole and this part because this part will attach with the body part uh, then we apply force about 1417 newton uh, at the upper and second force at the lower which is same also 1417 newton then to solve the result of the analysis we insert total deformation and equivalent elastic strain. Okay. For the for the total deformation, we have zero minimum, and we have four point one five one two times with uh, ten to the power of negative zero zero six. 
for the total deformation and the result for equivalent elastic strain we have minimum 4.1294 times 10 to the power of negative 008 and 1.663 uh, times uh, 10 to the power of negative 005 or the minimum of equivalent elastic strain okay, we can see the simulation for equivalent elastic strain and we can see the total deformation of simulation okay, we have uh, maximum heat uh, result at here and minimum result at here okay that's all for the seat okay, lastly uh, the third of analysis which is handle okay first of all we input geometry, uh, geometry uh, from the cartier file and we select the material okay then we match for the whole of handle and then we apply fit support and force for the static structure the fit support we apply here because this part will attach uh, with the body part and force we assume at the upper of handle uh, that it has 20 kg of force which is 196 newton and then to solve the result we apply total deformation and equivalent elastic strain okay, the total uh, deformation we have zero minimum and the maximum is 2.1706 times 10 to the power of negative 005 and for the equivalent elastic strain we have 1.7111 times 10 to the power of negative 008 for the minimum and the maximum we have 7.7333 times is 10 to the power of negative 005 and we can see the simulation okay, for the total deformation we have minimum at here and maximum at the left and right of handle and we can see the simulation of equivalent elastic strain okay okay to conclude it as the result we achieve uh, this the result of simulation is achieved uh, for the design of this project. Okay, that's all from the analysis. Hello everyone. So, I will explain about the each component we use for our prototype first. So, let's start with the Node MCU. So, this is the Node MCU ESP8266. The function is to connect all the components and transfer all the data through Wi-Fi connection. The second component is the passive buzzer. The passive buzzer is to make alarm sound to attract other in emergency case. And the third one is the MPU6050 accelerometer gyroscope module. The function is to detect vibration or the sudden impact of the user and, and send the data to the not MCU. And the third and the fourth component is the GPS Neo 6M module. This GPS module was functioned to detect the location of the user and send the coordinate to the node MCU. And the other components is like transistor, resistor 10 kilo ohm, and also the breadboard. And we use single core hard wire to complete the circuit. Hello everyone. So I will explain about the fabrication process of our prototype. For the hardware part, firstly, we disassemble all parts of Niba before grinding. And second, making a hole using drilling machine by 7mm size to install the Niba. The third, to decrease the thickness of the foot press by 5mm using grinding machine. And four, all the part was assembled with the other components and we go to the electronics part. All electronic parts were attached on the blackboard forward with the already been created using the circuito.io software. Then, we have to check the current flow of the circuit. Next, soldering the main header to the sensor module. And then, we go to the assembly part. For the assembly of all components, this process considers all the parts like circuit boards, power bank casing slot, knee bar, and electronic components. So, this is the final view of our prototype and already been tested by our team.
Hello everyone. Hopefully you guys are in a good day and stay healthy and follow the SOP. I want to introduce to you our prototype for integrated design project IDP which is the smart working stick for elderly people. First, I want to explain about the function of each component we use in our product. First, the main material of our product which is the body. They are made from aluminium alloy tube body. It is light in weight and easy to carry. The load bearing index is up until 400 kg. For the safety and stable, they use the better load bearing and more stable. It use the triangle base is more stable and the triangle fits and the silicone mats. Second is the flip seat. This flip seat is used to sit for a while or any place that doesn't have seat. The material was from plastic or the scientific name was polypropylene. The design was made for economic purpose which is the edge of the seat was made fillet and massage to the surface. They also have multi-point concave convex seating board and if we compare with the other design like round design, rectangle design and semicircle design, this design was the most suitable to fit the human buttocks. So let's go to the next component which is the knee bar. The component is to help user to get up from their seat more easily. Material was made from the soft rubber which is not harm the knee and still for the support steel. The design was made to can be flipped and can be opened when the user wants to use it. The average weight is 400 gram for both knee bar. So the weight was not interrupt the user from walking using this smart walking stick for elderly people. Furthermore, we have master lock. The function is to adjust the height according to the user's height. It has 5 height adjustable and made from aluminium alloy material. They use telescopic height adjustment and suitable for people of different height. Recommended height for this smart working stick is from 130 cm to 190 cm high. Moreover, we have circuit box. The function is to place the sensor circuit. At the side of the circuit box, there is a hole to plug in the charging port to switch on the device. The circuit box is made from aluminium and this circuit box is have enough space to put our sensor circuit and it, it, it do not interrupt the user while walking or sit. Next, we have power bank casing slot. The material is from recycle box and eco-friendly material. It is easy to slot fit nicely. It, it was easy to slot and fit nicely in the power bank followed by the normal size of the power bank in the market. It is placed under the seat and still can be seat and can be flipped without any problem. It uses to put the power bank and plug in the USB cable to connect the power supply to the device. And the last part is the torchlight. The torchlight was already installed inside the holder without having bringing the conventional torchlight. The function is to light the way up in the dark and it uses two AA battery as power supply. So now, I will explain to you how the smart working stick fall detection system operates. We open the Blink app and select the fall detection. Then open the hotspot of our smartphone for the Blink apps 
to be connected with the device. If the device detected huge impact of vibration from the walking stick user, it will show notification on the Blink apps and notification email of the relative members. After that, in the email notification, there is stated the coordinate of the user. To know where is location of the user, the relatives have to copy the coordinate from the email and paste it in the Google Map apps. After we paste the location, after we paste the coordinates, we will show the exact locations of the smart walking stick user. So that's all the demonstration and operating fall detection system or smart walking stick to save the user's life. Thank you. Okay, lastly, I will continue with the last part of this section, which is conclusion. Okay, as a conclusion, prototype procedure able to meet market requirements such as the product ability to detect location, alert the surrounding, user friendly, and have a system with high durability that is safe and easily portable. Second, objective for this project. Firstly, apply the knowledge in study to the community. Second, sustainable development goal 9. Sustainable development goal 9 means constructing new greener infrastructure or reconfiguring existing infrastructure system and exploiting the potential of smart technology that can contribute to the reduction of environmental impact and disaster risk. Okay, our target or our achievement uh, for, the pro for this product are firstly, develop sustainable, resilient, enhanced infrastructure where it can support economy and human well-being. Second, upgrade all industry and infrastructure for sustainability. Third, enhance research and upgrade industrial technologies. Fourth, universal access information and communication technology where it can provide affordable internet to the product. Third objective, element IR 4.0. Okay. Industry 4.0 or fourth industry revolution is a new level will help of interconnectivity through the Internet of Things, access the real-time data, and the introduction of cyber physical system. And Industry IR 4.0 also offer more comprehensive interle interlink and holistic approach to manufacturing that allow collaboration, collaboration physical with digital. Okay, as our project, as our project, Internet of Things is decade where a concept that refer to connection between physical objects. For example, sensor and GPS, global position system. Okay, where sensor is to detect a fault detection and GPS is used to detect the coordinate or location of the user. Okay, third conclusion is more research and experiment have to be done to improve better design and accuracy system as technology grow. And lastly, hope for other students and community to make more research and experiment as the technology grow for better future. Okay, and for example, uh, student can make new recommendation from our project, which is such as uh, put uh, roller or tire at the bottom of the product where can 
transfer the potential energy to the electrical energy. I think that's all from us. Thank you for learning your ears. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.